and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Eternia, everyone. Uh, last time, last time I forgot to do something, so we need to go back to the Inverse Dome. And we're gonna go someplace I've actually never even showed you guys before, the Conversion Dock. We do have to come here first and examine, follow my footprints to Distant Worlds, 8864, that's a... That's Eifried, if you guys hadn't guessed, and yeah. So he gives us a pair of coordinates, which we need to track down. It is important that you do need to examine that statue first before you can progress and, and actually go to those coordinates. If you go there without examining the statue, there won't be anything there. And you will have wasted a whole lot of time. So save yourself a trip and just examine it before you go down. The good thing, though, is that it's relatively close to where we come down at. It's actually over here on, um, this crescent-shaped island where we used to... where I, what, got levels and experience early on in the game and I thought it was the shit. Remember that? I was like, oh, 5,000 gold, that's amazing. Yeah, it used to be amazing. Not so much anymore, though. So yeah, the Tomb of Eifried. Big fun, let me tell you. Oh god, not this music again. This gives me flashbacks to that horrible roulette wheel thing we had to play. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? That sucked. What is this? Talk about poor taste. The interior decoration has absolutely no sense of order nor unity. Really, Keel? Really? You're judging the interior design here? Oh... Who could have designed this abomination? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was Eifried, since it's his tomb and all. Fair thinks it looks pretty fun and exciting, though. This place looks scary. I get a feeling this place is haunted. Oh, dear. So yeah, we're gonna head through the- Oh! Okay, what is the point in even using holy bottles if all these stupid things are gonna do is get into battles anyway? I do need to reassess Mary's, Meredith's equipment because I am not having her use the... I'm not going to have her use spread in here. I'm actually going to switch over to Thunderblade. <clears throat> oh, damn it. Really? What's going on here? Seriously now, people? Okay, Max with the Rage Laser, nice job. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> we sure did, and yeah, experience in Gauld, not that great compared to what we were getting in Chazelle's castle, but... Whatever, I guess we can't complain too much. Do 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 do. Whoops. <laughs> Fell through a trapdoor there. I totally did that on purpose. And I don't care about these spikes. I do need to use yet another holy bottle. I swear, they don't make holy bottles like they used to. I felt like they used to last a whole lot longer. A mithril bracelet. And I can, again, I could give that to Meredy, but she loses luck evasion and accuracy, and she just gains, what, like, eh, seven defense and two intelligence? Oh, what the hell. That, and she doesn't have the regeneration effect of the cute mitten anymore. Maybe I'll give it to Farah. Just that way she's regenerating even more HP. We'll give it to her. Why not? And another all divide. I know we have yet to even use one of those, but trust me, we will eventually. Oh boy. And how can I... 13,000 gold, like we need more money at this point. And elixir and a battle. Damn it! <laughs> the good thing about these battles is hey, I didn't say you could do that. You notice you get into battles with superstars here, and they actually have a chance of dropping reverse stalls, I believe, so. 
Should you need reverse dolls at all, this would be the place to get them, or at least one place. <clears throat> Because I'm fairly certain that's... I'm just going to check, do the enemies respawn or no? They do, it looks like, so yeah. And here's two little spots you can either rest and buy items, but we don't need to, so we're passing right on by those. And this... We need to use our freeze ring here and get those flames gone so we don't burn our asses on them. And here... oh, is that the hat I need? It is. So we found Eifried's hat, and... wait, I'm, I'm worried I'm gonna fall through the trap door again. Is it gonna go off? Oh no, I guess it only goes off when you run the other way. That's stupid. Oh well. So yeah, the whole idea of this dungeon is we need to collect uh, items to dress up that naked statue, as Keel pointed out. Yeah, that one, we need to get like a hat and a cloak and a beard or something, I don't know. I need to pause and figure out where I'm going. Give me a second, you guys. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. Sorry, it's been so long since I've done this side quest that I don't, I don't really remember where I'm going. Anywho, we're gonna go down here and fight another battle, I guess. Seriously, I'm really, I'm not understanding the appeal of holy bottles anymore. <laughs> Don't you walk away from me. Oh, I should probably heal. <laughs> Okay, double spiral attack. It's okay, Reed, calm down. So we're gonna... ooh, guillotine thingies. And we made it through. This chest is a fake! Do not examine it. <laughs> Don't do it. And another battle? Really? Yeah, come on, walk into Thunderblade. <laughs> oh, they're so stupid, I love it. These little spirit bastards, I remember them from when we were fighting Siren. You will get no mercy from me, you sons of... Never mind. Um... And... Well, that wasn't very nice. A moon robe? Ooh, what is that? Alright, we'll take it. Wait, did I actually equip it on him? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't remember. What's this thing? When a figure is in your path, call upon the power of ice and it will lose its means to block you. Sure. I don't even know what those... Is that... Are we losing HP from that? Is that it? And this douchebag I need to... No, <laughs> okay. guys, we don't have all day, make quick work of them, or oh, I guess I could do it, ha uh -huh. And yeah, there's this stupid guy down here, this little Frankenstein looking thing, I need to, that little clue is, can I freeze him? Thank you. And we'll just walk around him to Lou. And, what is this thing? Actually, yeah, I think that uh, the only way to get through there is by having one of the females be in the lead, because it asks for the blood of a pretty girl. So if you have Reed or any other guy leading the party, you won't be able to get through that door. So yeah, note to self, you guys. And actually, on that note, we are out of time for today. When we come back, we're going to 
continue going through Eifried's tomb. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.